Hi guys, Being Golf here. You can also find me on Instagram. And if you like the content I create, please leave a like and consider subscribing. So we're at the first hole here at Kleidal in Belgium. Um, it's a par 5 of about 470 yards. Um, we're playing early in the morning. Uh, it's freezing out there. We're also playing of the yellow tees um, because of the autumn season and uh, well, the white tees are closed for the rest of the autumn season. Um, so this first hole, this first par 5, 470 yards long. Uh, it's pretty straight. In the end there's a small doublet to the right. Uh, I pulled it a little bit here to the left into the trees. Luckily we found our ball in the midst of some leaves. Um, and we have about 184-185 um, yards to the pin. Um, so I took 6 iron and went for it. Um, I hit the green, luckily. And we're off to a good start of the day actually as you can see it was pretty cold the grass still uh, damp um, but we were in two on the green on a par 5 so that's always a good start and hopefully I can make something of this uh, first put of the day as well so it better be good let's see if I can make it work eagle putt And as you can see, I left it way short. Well, it was my first putt of the day uh, to my defense, but uh, an eagle putt, you cannot leave that one short. Hopefully, I can make uh, the birdie stick. Uh, we still have about a good six feet left for birdie. Um, so let's see if this works out. And that never even was online. So we're gonna start with the uh, par today. On the first hole, it's not bad. We're always happy to start with the par. Could have been a lot better. So we're on to the second hole of the day, the second hole at Gladal. It's a par four with a dog leg to the right. Uh, you kind of want to aim left of the tree up ahead. The tree is at around 200 yards. The par four is 366 yards long. Um, and as, as I said, you want to clear away from the tree, so you want to hit at least 200, 210 yards left of the tree would be ideal. If you can hit longer, you can go at it, hopefully over it. And as you can see, I kind of went for it, got a bit lucky there, uh, got in the opening in between the tree, still in the rough, but uh, only about 140, 142 yards away from the pin, clear from the tree on the right which is always a good thing. If you leave it short from the tee box, you will have that tree on your right in the way. Um, this time I was clear and I could go for the green. And as you guys can see, I landed it firmly on the green, some 12 to 12, 13 feet away from the hole. Um, still with damp grass, with damp green, so it's kind of unpredictable how fast or how slow they will be uh, because of the, the frozen ground or at least very solid ground uh, with wet grass on it. Second hole of the day with a better putt than the first hole as you could have seen. Um, got pretty close and an easy tap in for par as well which due to lack of concentration I almost miss. On to the third hole of the day, uh, we're still at even par after two holes, so that's a good start. The third hole is not my favorite hole of the course, it's a par 3 of about 169-170 yards to the pin, uh, but you always get some wind from left or right which you don't expect. Uh, the, the pin was in the front today and well, that looks good, um, so I bounced on the front of the green, you can see me repair my pitch mark there and have a very short putt of about 3-4 three to three, four feet away from the pin for a birdie. Um, it's a, when, you, when you hit a birdie you're always a little bit nervous, you always feel this, this urge and this, this must to make the birdie. Uh, but I do, so actually after 3 holes, very good start, 
and we're off to the fourth hole. Fourth hole is a par four again. This time, uh, just not just below 300 yards. It's 299 to the middle of the green. Again, a dogleg to the right, uh, but this time in, instead of a tree, you have to clear like on hole two. You have to clear some bunkers, which you cannot really see. You just want to aim straight, hit it about 210 to 20 yards. Uh, for a good uh, angle of attack towards the green. Unfortunately, I totally sliced this one over the trees and I have to go search my ball, which I did find, luckily, over the trees, uh, still behind, well, an almost leafless tree. Uh, it's blocking my, my entrance towards the green. You kind of have the option to go low, but then you hit a bump before the green. You can also go over the tree, so I took my 60 degree, it was about 70-75 um, yards away, I hit it over the tree and as you can see, you can see it drop, it was just short of the green into the thick stuff. So for the, our third hit on this hole, third stroke, um, kind of want to hit a bump and run, let it run out, but again uh, every green feels a bit different because of the cold, because of the dampness. I kinda hit it pretty good, pretty solid, but I left it a bit short. So we have this left for par, so we're gonna try to make this work, try to make the par stick, well, try to make the birdie stick of the last hole. It's a good 9 to 10 feet away from the hole, um, there's not much break to the left or break to the right, so it's, it's pretty straight just have to go for it and try to make the bar which we do with a little fist bump saving bars from a long distance always feels a bit like making a birdie and it really makes a difference on your scorecard if you can save a few bars which you're not supposed to save so the next hole of the course the fifth hole already is another par four this time with the dog leg to the left you have a lot, lots and lots of space straight ahead, so you just want to take driver, grip it, grip it and hit it straight. If you go left, you will find yourself behind the trees, uh, which will block the entrance to the green. If you go right, you will find yourself in, inside the trees on the right, but most of the times you still have some way to go, to go for, the, uh, for the green. So you don't really have to be afraid to, to overfade it or slice it. Um, the hole is about 376 yards long um, and we hit this one pretty straight, pretty solid. We might even run out of ferry because it's the yellow tees. We'll see, yes we did, we almost ran into that little um, water hazard over there. We still have a tree blocking our view which is unusual because uh, when we when I play from the white tees, I never find myself in this position. I, I'm, I'm on the fairway usually, um, but this time we have that tree ahead of us. We still have 122 yards to the pin, which is over the tree and on the right. Um, I take I take it over the tree, so we're successful in in that uh, perspective, and we're also on the green. However, the, the fifth hole at Cladal is the second hardest hole of the course uh, and that's mainly due to the sloping in the greens. Uh, there's almost never an easy pin position on these greens uh, and as you can see, I, hopefully, I hope you can see it, um, we do have some sloping to take care of. First of all, it's a pretty hard uphill putt and it also slopes left to right. So we really have to judge our pace and judge our, our distance uh, correctly. And I do think that my first stroke was definitely not bad. It took enough pace, left it short, but it's within within three feet. So when we, <laughs> when we find ourselves within three, three feet, you would expect um, to make the par, or at least, um, well, not at least something, you expect to make the par. When, when, when you're inside three feet, you want to make the hole count. You want, to make the, you want to make the putt. Unfortunately, as you probably also have seen on my first hole and now on the fifth hole, the putting doesn't always go to plan. I have some sort of lip out here. So we make our first bogey of the day 
and we're back to even so we're at the last hole of this first well this one of my first vlogs um, it's the sixth hole of the course it's a par 5 pretty straight for over 300 yards uh, to start with then we find water the hole itself is 489 yards from the yellow tees so it's not even short from the yellow tees and you always want to take driver here you have plenty of space however again um, because I played from the yellow tees I find myself in a position I usually don't end up and we have to go over the water here towards the green the good thing is it's still one, 175 yards so it's reachable in two um, but you have to carry all the water and you have to fade it a little bit to the right I totally topped this one um, it flew over the water though it bounced on the fairway and kept running 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 missed the bunker on the left and eventually I find myself up here in the thick stuff and as you can see it's still very cold the grass is still very damp um, but we have a shot at eagle not something I expected standing on the tee but we actually have a chip in shot at eagle maybe a small chance it's a good chip and it barely misses the hole just ends up right next to it with a very easy birdie as a result and we end this vlog uh, with that birdie so we're back to minus one and I thank you for watching uh, if you liked the video if you liked uh, the vlog please leave a like consider subscribing and I'll be back with more